Give it up for miscellaneous. Come on, y'all, show her some love. Miscellaneous. Hey, girl. How y'all doing tonight? Ever off just say my name, y'all. I love you, Ever. I love you. You said it, you said it right. I just, I just, I'm so, I'm starstruck a little bit. She was sitting back there shivering. I wanted to give her a hug, but I did. I might, I just gave her a hug. I was like, Ever Ralph, oh my God, I just said this lady. It ain't every day Ever Ralph say your name. <coughs> so praise the Lord. Oh, I, I shout out that if I wanted to. Y'all saying warm? No? I heard, I heard a no. I heard a no. We was back there shivering. She was saying, you are holy. I was, I was trying to praise, but my fingers was too froze. So I looked like a Black Panther party. I was just, hallelujah. You are holy. I couldn't quite know you were it. And I, the saxophone, he gave me his trench coat, and I was back there, and I had, it was very nice. Thank you. Wherever you at. Praise the Lord. So just hug your neighbor. They didn't tell you that in church. Look at your neighbor and say such and such. No, just hug your neighbor. I tell you what, if it get any colder out here, I'm going to take these drapes down. They roll right up in there. You know you want to. You know you thought about it. Don't get mad because I said it. You thought about it. Hey, I just say what people think. I say what they think. Oh, I just want, I'm miscellaneous. How's everybody doing tonight? Before I get started, let me just go ahead and say, yeah, I got DVDs on sale. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it out there. Um, well, actually, the DVD, I just wanna put out there, the DVD is actually free. It's the case that it come in, that's $10. And I tell you what, you can get a deal, because if you can take the, the plastic that's around it, if you can get the DVD out without cutting that plastic, it's free. It is yours tonight, free as of charge. Ladies and gentlemen, free 99 as the kids say nowadays. I love, I love these lights, it's like a heat lamp. Oh God. Right there, there it is right now. I tell you what, this benefit is to be being so cold out here. I tell you, black women, you ain't got to worry about sweating your hair. Mm, I thought I was gonna come in here and my hair was gonna be this big, but it's still a little flat in the middle. So I praise the Lord for that. <laughs> he knew, he knew, <laughs> he had an idea, he knew. Speaking of my hair, I know y'all are wondering, yes, this is my natural hair color. Oh yeah, yeah, right, I heard, yeah, right. It is. Uh-huh, I'm peculiar. I was made this way. This is my natural hair color. Um, I went to the shop and got black low lights so that uh, I can kind of blend in with the people a little bit. But yeah, it's natural. Out of the uh, eight billion people in the world, this case is one out of eight billion. Mm -hmm. I saw it on the doctors, it's true. Oh yeah. People look at me like, she an alien, is she an alien? No, no, I'm from here. This is just how I was born. Speaking of aliens, I went to Mexico. And uh, I went to Mex. It's a joke. <laughs> Don't get offended. It. I love Mexicans. Come on, Mexicans. Ain't even none in here. <laughs> I tell you. Anyway, let me get back to my. I went to Mexico on a missions trip. Yes, I did. How many y'all believe in missions? All right, okay, got one. Can I get two? Can I get three? All right. So I went to Mexico on a mission trip and um. I went out of street evangelizing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I went out street evangelizing, and that's what my DVD is about. It's about radical evangelists out there on a the booth, $10. Uh, I went out street evangelizing, and I stopped at a place called La Baracho. Any Spanish speakers in the house? Do you speak Spanish? Say it again. La Baracho. Yeah, so I walked in there and I went in there to evangelize and I began to walk. I walked in and I see the whole bunch of people in this place, right? And uh, there was a bunch of men's in there. They had these big old hats on. And big old hats look like cowboy hats with the little balls hanging from them. You know what I'm talking about? Like a mariachi band or something like that. And I felt right at home because I love the Lord and I love cowboys. I do. I just love them. There's something about them. When they get on that little bowl and they just be bucking them off and they still hold on. It's like faith. You see what I'm saying? They try to buck you off, but you hold on to your faith. You see what I'm saying? It's a testimony and everything. Can I get an amen on that? Can I get an amen on that? After all, say, see, you got to see. It's because my faith ain't like. Do you believe me now? <laughs> Y'all got to believe what I'm saying. I don't care how I deliver it. I don't care how I deliver it. You believe what I'm saying. So I went into this place and, uh, I began to minister to these men and these women. 
Uh huh. Because uh, the Bible says, "Go ye into what?" Okay, I got three people that read their Bible. Can I get a fourth? Go ye into what? Uh huh. So I went into this Mexican world, and I began to preach and teach the gospel, the good news. Ah, can I get an amen? Can I get an amen again? Again. No, you're supposed to say amen again. Disobedience. I tell you what. Lord, forgive them, please. So I began to preach to these uh, people, and they, they bought out this, uh, this big old fruit platter. I just thought this was so nice. It was a fruit platter with these little lemons and limes and salt. And, uh, and they bought over this little, this, these, these, these uh, communion cups with water in them. And they offered it to me. They offered it to me, and I said, you know, I learned in my mission training that when you're in someone's house and they offer you something, you try, I'm trying to get something to them. You see what I'm saying? And I want them to receive what I'm saying, so I had to go ahead and receive what they was giving to me. Uh huh. you follow me? <laughs> so uh, this man with this big old cowboy hat, he lifted that little communion cup, and he said, Epa! <laughs> so I lifted it up, I said, Epa! And we drank it. And we drank it. I tell you what, I think they left that water out a little bit too long because it was full. Yeah, it didn't taste right. It was, it was a little spoiled, but I drank it for Jesus. Mm, I drank it for Jesus. And uh, I kept ministering to these men and these women up in Mexico, Cancun to be specific. And uh, uh, after that, uh, that, that third one, that third little communion cup of spoiled water, I began to feel, feel the the spirit of song come upon me. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to sing. I don't know where it came from. It had to be the spirit. <sighs> That's what it sounded like when it came. <sighs> and uh, so I began to sing to them and minister to them. And, uh, and I kept on singing. And I kept on drinking. And uh, after that, uh, six, Six communion cup of spoiled water. I felt a heat come upon my body. And I got real hot and I knew I was in purpose because it was like fire! <laughs> Shut up in my bone! And I kept on singing. Mm -hmm. And I kept on singing, drinking. How many of y'all know that on the seventh day, what did he do? On that seventh cup of Spoiled water, I tell you what I did, I felt a rest come upon me. Oh, I knew I was in purpose. I, I felt a rest come upon me, and I just closed my eyes and I. And I kept on singing, and I kept on drinking. And after that, um, oh, I don't remember what number it was, because I was so deep in the spirit. You hear me when I say it? I just wanted to, I, I began to think about the, the men and women that went on before me. Uh-huh, because I, I just got so emotional. I knew they was receiving me when I was saying to them because they was emotional. And I was emotional. And we was all crying and hugging and slobbing and just sliding everywhere. And it was just great. And we kept on singing. And we kept on drinking. And I took my little communion cup of spoiled water and I tipped my water to their memory. And I poured it out on that floor. And I kept on singing. And I kept on drinking. How many of y'all know that uh, I wanted to set the atmosphere in that place? I wanted to set the atmosphere. I wanted to invite him in and tell the Lord how much I loved him. Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? So I began to sing. I love the Lord. He heard. Y'all know the song? He, sing it, sing along. He heard my cry. <laughs> Come on, choir. Oh, ah! Don't nobody know what they say after that. Y'all still sing. But we know that we love the Lord. And I began to weep. Uh, and I told uh, Mary Magdalene, I said, oh, Mary, don't you weep. <laughs> and tell Maria, don't you mourn. <sighs> uh-huh. And I kept on singing. 
and I kept on drinking. Just like that another Lord song. You know how uh, we don't really know what we're saying, but we know we're loving on God. So I began to sing. I kept singing. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. And I went on. I love the Lord. Can't say a word. Just wave your hand. It's too cold in here, so just wave your fist. And they just moan. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, I drank that about 10th, 11th, 12th. I don't even know what it was. I just took off. Pew! I'm just running. I was running. Devil, you can't get me, devil. What? I don't know. But I did it anyway. And I kept on singing. And I kept on drinking. I looked around at my little cowboy brothers and I said, I love cowboys. They know how to ride. And I took my hand and I waved that little fist. And I blurted it out. Yee-haw. Y'all been good. I'm Mr. Ladies. You been good. Come see my booth. $10. Free DVDs. Case cost $10.